the other and do it like that. Well, it's going to be good enough so I can not let gas out. So we then get the tracker, zip, charge, made sure that this morning. Um, that's just going to sit and that'll, the antenna will go through this, that little hole there, like so. And that's really snug as well. Obviously we've got to put the hand warmers in. The hand warmers we've got are used so we can keep the package warm um, because it's po possibly going to get to minus 60. Um, this, the tracker works at minus 40 degrees and I've got batteries in the camera that work at minus 40. But it, like I said, it could get down to minus 60 so I've just got to make sure it doesn't. And having all this padding, um, these walls and uh, things like the hand warmers, that should keep out the cold. And then this just goes on the top. We've got gaffer tape. The gaffer tape will go round, 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 round. Uh, we've got my dad's uh, bike lights, about that big. And they're just flashing things that last for about 20 hours, I guess. If we can't find it in the day, uh, it'll make, it e it'll almost be easier to find at night time than at daytime with those lights. Um, so they'll just be there. That's the loop to, yeah, so it's, and you'll see this, um, this system we've got here, this was all done last night, we had, uh, yeah, about 10 o'clock last night we decided to modify it to, rather than, so we didn't have, because what we had before was just one string going out to here, and this is a lot longer, uh, but that uh, stopped the, the package doing huge big swings, but we also noticed that that wouldn't stop it doing this. And by having having two strings on the handles stops it rocking like that. Like I can see now I can't actually physically do it without using a lot of strength. And by having this here, it does make it more <coughs> difficult to go like that. And then with the Barbie attached, That'll provide this with a bit more weight and that'll be a lot better. I am tying this off so I can then untie here. I will then attach the dead weight, that big jerry can kind of thing. And so it doesn't fly away. Um, so we're up to, uh, We're down to one attaching two. the parachute now. So. Is that right? Yeah, we'll be attaching. One of these to the package, and this is one of the uh, parachutes that the bureau gave me because they've got so many. Um, this is exactly what they use, so it's almost perfect for me. I'm really glad they got it because it's really hard to find stuff like this on the internet. Is this reef not? Oh, so. What we've done is we've attached it to here, but because it's swinging, it might swarm through this material, so I've just got like a safety loop. Yeah, so if that does break, it's still held on by this. And that's just a reef knot, and I'm just uh, tightening it with half inches. 
Um, so that's the loop there, goes around here. All right, so that's just a note. If um, we can't find it, that's just pretty much plan B. And um, plan, B, plan B totally relies on the kindness of others. We're nearly ready to go. We're just kind of waiting for time to pass because we've got to release it at nine o'clock. So it's just kind of a matter of waiting. Uh, and then when we, obviously when we get closer to nine o'clock, we can start doing everything that needs to be, like turning, uh, activating the hand warmers because we don't want them to cool. So, you know, 10 minutes before launch, we'll activate them, turn on the electronic equipment, uh, wrap everything up. Dad will have rung air services. Um, then we'll just bring it out here, uh, untach the dead weight, and then what we'll do is we'll have one person holding the balloon and one person holding the other end. And by doing that, we can kind of direct it away from buildings um, so it doesn't hit it or anything. And should be rising about six meters per second. When it pops, um, the, it'll be falling quite quickly. Even the parachute will be open, but it'll be falling very quickly. Uh, but as it gets closer to the ground, as it gets closer to this atmosphere, uh, it'll slow down because the air's denser. And so it'll come down about five meters a second, which is quite a slow rate. I'd use that. That's that. Got that. Right That way there. Okay. So I'm just turning on the, the tracker now. So that's ready to go, that's tracking now. Alright, so I'm just going to turn this on now. The tachyon is now recording. Um, so we're just chucking everything on now. Uh, this is it, the final, putting everything on the final time. Um, yep. Should move away from that sign. Okay. 